Hi everybody, this is Joanna with Abstract Art Journal, and today I'm going to show you how I would, can combine watercolor palettes. So what happened was I bought Jane Davenport, actually these are the brights, and then I, I bought the neutrals and then I bought Prima Pastel Dreams. And I noticed that I was using two or more or three of them all at the same time, and I hated pulling out separate things. So I ordered a, a new palette from uh, Amazon, Meaden palette. And their, their palettes, the inside part, there's room in the middle to either put half pans in the middle this way or a full pan or this way. So this particular one, it came like the, this way. You can stretch this out. I'll show that in another video. But so I was able to get the this the inside like that. So what I did was I went ahead and I ordered this palette and I put my colors in here like this. So I'm I was able to get all the colors in one palette, which it makes me real happy. Now what I wanted to show you was so that's one tip. The other one is it, how to make watercolor cards. Now this one I did differently because I wanted the colors to be really big, but normally you can get them all on one card. So I wanted to give you a tip on how to make the palette cards. So what you do, and I used to like measure it and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So you can put your palette on, on a piece of watercolor paper and draw around the bottom. Then what you do is you go ahead and make sure it fits on the inside. Now you may have to trim it a little bit. Then wherever your watercolors are, instead of measuring it and stuff, what I did was I went ahead and did like this. And then that way you, you have your line here and here. Because some palettes only have an upper and a lower one. And same thing on this side. So here and here. Then for this way, I just put it like this. And then I have like this, you can get 13 colors in here. So um, let me push this down. I'll do it like this. So you just draw your line where the little pans are instead of having to do the measurements. And then that way you get a really good palette card. And then same thing on this. Just push these down a little bit. Well, I'll just do it like this. So there. The other thing on most, some of, it depends on how big the pan, half pans are. But usually, you can get 13 colors on each row. So that's how to make your palette cards. And then the other tip I wanted to give you was, okay, say I did a painting session and most of my paints are wet or if I sprayed them, they're wet. And I used to leave my palette out like this to dry, but then it would get dust in it or hair or whatever. So I came up with a couple of ideas. One is... If you have a pencil or a pen, you could always put it in like that. That leaves some air. But the best way I found is get a clip, and you just get a little clip like this and pull this up, and then you have, it will stay like open like that. Oh, go down. Anyway, it stays open like that. I don't know why it's doing it. Um, okay. Anyway. So you can see it can get air in there without getting dust. Now, if you only have a palette that has just a lid, you can do it like this and stick this down here so that it does have enough air to dry, but no dust will get in. So I hope that helps you. Uh, and have a great art day.